Hi everybody, welcome to the homestead. Uh, today, we are out here, uh, Chris is working on the driveway a little bit, um, trying to finish some drainage issues so we can get our gravel in. That's The rain's been crazy, can't get gravel in, so we are hoping today to get some of that situation taken care of so we can get gravel in the next week or so. That's been our biggest hold up here, uh, all because of the rain. It's, it's just the way it is. It's that time of year, it's spring, and it's everything's turning green and it has to have water. Uh, so today I am planting irises. Uh, as some of you may or may not know, uh, my mother's favorite flower was the iris and purple was her favorite color. So purple irises has been a thing in our household as long as I can remember. Um, even as a kid, we had irises in our front bed along with sweet peas. So uh, my sister brought me some from Nebraska to from my niece's house. They just bought a house. All these irises popped up needed to be thinned out. She pulled a bunch out. Thank you, Linda. And so we're gonna, I planted them today. No, so I've dug a trench and put in some black dirt because we are pretty sandy here. And uh, don't know all the colors of all the ones we have. What I do know is where they came from. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, so each bag was marked where they came from. If she knew the color, I got the color, but I didn't always know the color. One of the reasons I'm making this video is also because I need to remember what I planted where, and uh, my brain's not that good. So, taking a hint from Jess at Roots and Refuge, I'm going to take pictures and video. So, in a year when we come back, and they've all come back and they're all blooming, I can say, oh, that came from this area, that came from this area, I knew this was purple, I knew this was yellow, whatever. So it just is a record for my keeping, but I thought, hmm, why not? I'll just share it with everybody too. So um, one of the other things I did today was uh, after my mother's celebration of life, uh, we brought home some irises that we had used as decoration at her celebration. And I had planted them here. They were actually the first thing that we physically planted on the homestead. And... Uh, they are purple. They're a small variety of an iris, but they're beautiful. And we had planted them somewhere else. So I dug them up and moved them over here. Now this is not going to be where these irises necessarily stay. Chances are they are going to get put somewhere else. Uh, my true hope and goal one day is to have a memory rosary garden uh, with a walking path, all kinds of neat things. These irises, if they survive, will be in that garden. But we had to put them somewhere where they wouldn't get destroyed from driving, machinery, building, kind of out of the way. So I found this one little patch of ground that I think will be good. Uh, they'll get a lot of sun in the morning to keep the dew off of them. They'll get plenty of shade, but they will also get plenty of sun. So they should do fine here. Uh, I did put some black dirt down in the bottom. I'm gonna pour some black dirt on in a minute after I move on my markers so I know which ones are which, which I'm fixing to show you that. So I'm gonna flip you around here real quick. And here we go. So these, the very first ones here, are from the side of the yard at my niece's house. And then these little tiny ones right here came from my mother's celebration. And then these, I believe, are the side middle. Don't know what color they are. These are going to be purple. These right here are going to be purple. Um, then we did, oh, let me see. I have to dig these up. See, I buried the bag so I could remember what. Oh, these are street side. And you notice that these have a thinner, these little guys right here. These little guys right here have a thinner leaf. And so I know they're a different variety than some of the others. And so I kind of tried to, when laying them out, I wanted a variety of leaf shapes as well as a variety of color. So even if it's a purple one next to a purple one, it's gonna have a different leaf and it's gonna look a little better. It'll look different. So that's what those are. Then these are, I have to find my bag get down here these are front yellow so these came from the front of the house from I think right there to over here to the bag are going to be yellow 
and my understanding is the yellow ones were very pretty and then these poor little teeny tiny guys were from in front of the shed or beside the shed they got mowed over because my niece and her husband just bought this house and didn't know that there were irises there so those little guys have been mowed and come back but you know they're going to struggle a little bit so hopefully they'll make it so there were plenty of those don't know what color they are because they got mowed down and sorry I had to get up off the ground here and then these little bitty guys right here are pink something it says garage pink on the back see garage pink so those are the shed those right there and then these have a thinner blade too a thinner blade so I'm hoping that these do well I am gonna put some more black dirt on top of all these so they'll get some more nutrition so I'm hoping those pink ones make it I'm a little concerned but you know what they were free throw them in see what they do these are dark purple and these came from around a tree so I'm hoping that they will continue to do well and then this poor little looking thing right here is one that came from my mother's celebration this one right here when I dug these up they had already started multiplying bub bulbs so there were a lot more bulbs in the bottom of this thing even though it looks like this than there were when I bought it when we brought them here and put them in and then these are the backside so these right here are backside and there are the end of the row and then I didn't use everything I had. Some of them, the rhizomes weren't good enough, weren't big enough, or I just wasn't comfortable. Didn't sure they'd get in there. So I know we have some purple. I know we have yellow and pink. Other than that, at this point, I don't know. One of the tags in one of the garden beds she dug up said white, but I don't know if anything she dug is white. We just don't know. It's a shot in the dark, but they're beautiful. They'll be beautiful. They can stick it out till next year and get some pretty blooms on them then we'll be good to go so just for perspective this is where i put them and if i take you this way back there's where we cleared for the canning shed that's going to be the garden area all down in there and then brings you around to the rest of the yard the tree line back around to where just past those well you see the orange flags if you can see the orange flags that's where the house is going to go the trailer is going to go that we're going to that we live in that's where the fifth wheel goes and then beyond that in the little area back there is where the shop will be so we'll be able to enjoy these once they bloom they'll be where we'll be able to see them and enjoy them when they start coming back next year and and blooming so I mostly did this so I can remember what came from where and uh, I don't have to tax my brain to try to think about it later and then we can enjoy them so I appreciate you guys stopping by the homestead today and uh, switch you around here a little bit so thanks for coming to visit the homestead today and God bless talk to you later bye